Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So, Denise would like to introduce you to Joshua Rem. Thank you for accepting my request, he said. How are you doing today? Good morning, said Denise. I'd gone to bed by the time you messaged last night. OK, he said. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And you? Hi, she said. I live in Guildford. It's in England. OK, he said. I'm a military surgeon doctor. I correctly live in Pakistan, saving the life of military men. Can I ask you a question? Yes, said Denise. Are you married with kids? he asked. I have two children and four grandchildren, she said. My husband died five years ago. Why are you in the Pakistan army if you're from the USA? To which our man replied, I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm a military surgeon doctor. I correctly live in Pakistan, saving the life of military men. You said that already, said Denise. Why are you in the Pakistan army if you're from the USA? To which our man replied, Can I ask you a question? Again. And Denise said, Yes. Again. What is your job over there? I'm retired, she said. OK, replied our man. And why won't you tell me why you're in the Pakistan army if you're from the USA? Or don't you know? I went to Pakistan for work, he said. I'm a military surgeon doctor. That's the third time you told me that, said Denise. You're retired from what, he asked. I was an accountant, she said. I ran my own business with my husband. Why won't you tell me why you're in the army in Pakistan? OK, he said. I guess you don't know why, said Denise. I expect a surgeon to know where he works and why. I'm not an army, he said. You told me you're a military surgeon, said Denise. I'm correctly working in Pakistan, he said, again. If you don't work with the army, what does military mean? asked Denise. Yes, I'm working with the army, he said, followed by, can I ask you a question? Make up your mind, said Denise. Are you stupid? I'll ask you one final time. Why are you in Pakistan if you're from the USA? To which our man replied, with a question mark. OK, said Denise, let's break it down into really, really easy bits that even an intelligent man like a surgeon can understand. One, are you in Pakistan? Two, do you come from the USA? Three, are you working with the US Army? Four, are you working with the Pakistan Army? To which our man replied, Yes. Yes to which question? asked Denise. Let's do them one at a time to make it easier for you. One. Are you in Pakistan? To which our man replied. I'm doctor from uni states, but currently here in Pakistan. I was sent here by the United States government to treat the injury armies that come here for peacekeeping mission. Are you still there with me? Where did you qualify as a doctor? asked Denise. And believe me, if you think he's been bad so far, just wait for the next bit. A medicine practitioner qualified to practice surgery, he said. Are you? I know you're struggling, darling, said Denise. Let's try and make that easier too, shall we? Which medical school did you attend? Google could see that our man was struggling and thought that perhaps it should intervene. Unfortunately, Google apparently hadn't seen the original question, so trying to be helpful, Google replied, Los Angeles County Office of Education contains 15 high schools. For comprehensive and personalised admissions consulting, consider Crimson Education. Services like mentoring, essay guidance and tutoring can help you get into your dream school. Thanks, Google but you really shouldn't intervene if you haven't read the original question. Oh dear, darling, said Denise. It's obviously hard to remember where you studied medicine. Let's try again. Where did you learn medicine? To which our man replied, 
Map of Los Angeles, CA, with school district boundaries. I can't see a map, darling, said Denise. You're welcome, said our man. OK, said Denise, we'll try again. I'm sure you'll remember in the end. Where did you learn medicine? My dear, he said, I already told you, OK? No, you didn't, said Denise. Where? Academy for Multilingual Arts and Science at Mervyn M. Dimmerley High School, he said. Oh, said Denise. Didn't you go to university? Anyway, he said, I think it's good to know more about each other because that will bring more understanding. I'm trying to understand you, said Denise. I really am. You're telling me you qualified as a surgeon in high school. OK, he said. I will tell you later. Why won't you tell me now, she asked. Do you have to go and ask someone else? Because you don't want to believe me, he said. What are you talking about, said Denise. I'm just asking where you qualified as a surgeon. I didn't say I didn't believe you. A man resorted to Google. Google having gone quiet and not been terribly helpful. Apparently needed a prod. Unhelpfully, it then replied. The branch of medical practice that treats injuries, diseases and deformities by the physical removal, repair or readjustment of organs and tissues often involving cutting into the body. Cardiac surgery. No, darling, said Denise. I asked where you learned medicine. Keep trying. I'm sure you'll remember. And then, thinking that maybe he needed a little help, here's a list to help you. You can choose one. And she sent him a link to a list on Wikipedia of US medical schools. A man helpfully replied, A place where a doctor, dentist or other medical practitioner treats or advises patients. I don't think that was on the list, darling, said Denise. Take a look at the list and choose one. Our man returned to Google. Google was having way too much fun coming up with ridiculous answers and wasn't about to stop. Surgery means a procedure performed for the purpose of structurally altering the human body by incision or destruction of tissues and is part of the practice of medicine for the diagnostic or therapeutic treatment of conditions or disease processes by any instruments causing localised alteration or transportation of. Transportation of what? asked Denise. To which our man replied. Arthroscopy. Oh, said Denise, I've never heard of that. What is it? And we'll take a short break and we'll use Google ourselves, and I'll tell you what arthroscopy actually is. The UK's National Health Service website tells us that an arthroscopy is a type of keyhole surgery used to diagnose and treat problems with joints. It's most commonly used on the knees, ankles, shoulders, elbows, wrists and hips. Back to our man, and Denise has just asked him, What is it? To which our man replied, Breast biopsy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever feel that you need a knee replacement, please don't go to this surgeon, because frankly, the mind boggles. He continued, I'm more interested in making good friendship with you in honesty, trust and sincerity, even though we just messed each other, maybe, as time goes on, maybe more than friends. Oh, she said. I'm much more interested in your surgical skills. Are you rich? Yes, he said. Denise sensed an opportunity. Oh, good, she said. I need a rich man. Because Denise, as you'll find out later, is in trouble. OK, my dear, he said. Imagine, said Denise, poor little old me meeting a rich man, a brainy one, a surgeon. My friends won't believe me. Can I ask you something? Why, my dear, he said. How long do you use Skype now? This isn't Skype, she said. We're on Facebook. OK, my dear, he said. I'm supportive and caring, and um, have a loyal and tolerant character. Very humble, honest, understanding and truthful. 
I'm a very passionate, physical person that would want the same in a mate. Deeply romantic. Optimistic. You said I can ask you something, said Denise. I have a problem. OK, my dear, he said. What are you doing now? One of my old clients is threatening me, she said. He's a big man and I'm scared of him. He wants money and I don't have any. You're rich. Can I borrow some money from you? Please? Who that? Your friend? He said. Oh no, said Denise. He isn't a friend. He used to be one of my clients. He isn't happy with what my late husband did with his accounts. OK, said our man, clearly not understanding a word Denise had said. Please tell me more about yourself, like hobbies, interests, religion and plans for your future. I like wing walking, said Denise. I'm a night day dear Adventist and I'm planning to walk backwards round the world. What about you? Please, he said. Can you send me your that husband picture now? My husband's dead, said Denise. I told you that. I'd have to dig him up. He might look a bit worm-eaten. Not understanding a word that Denise had just said, a man continued with a copy and paste list, which if you've been a member of this channel for a long time, you might recognise, because in a minute I'll show you someone else that used the same list. Anyway, my hobbies are swimming, playing games like basketball, golf, cheese. I'm a Roman Catholic by religion, and my plans for my future is to go into investment after my retirement and settle down with my new family in any suitable environment. And here's that list. I just copied a screenshot from a previous video. My hobbies are swimming, playing games like basketball, golf, cheese, and you don't need me to read the rest, because I already did. And this was the previous cheese lover, Ryan Moore. I'll leave a link in the description box below to his video. It wouldn't surprise me if there'd been others. Cheese is your hobby, said Denise. I like it on toast. But I never thought of it as a hobby. To which our man replied, Very good, my dear. What would be a suitable environment for your family? She asked. I request that you should add me to your contact and give me your email address for easy communication, he replied. Like I told you, I don't always have time to Skype, but I promise to always be here because of you, to keep you warm and happy. It doesn't matter if you don't have time to Skype, said Denise. I'll never use it. I don't even have a Skype account. And so he asked her if she had a Gmail account and they moved to Hangouts. I know I've said this before, but there's a lesson right there. If the person that you're talking to online, on a dating website or any social media app, suddenly tells you that they want to move to another app, usually Hangouts or WhatsApp, because they can talk, quote, more better, or they don't come online very often on the app that you're using. That almost always means that you're talking to a scammer. It isn't because they don't use the app that you're on very often. It's because they're afraid that their fake profile will be deleted. Over on Hangouts, a man magically changed his name. Another clue that you might be talking to a scammer. Because Hangouts, or WhatsApp, are much less likely to delete their fake accounts, so they keep using the same account. But over on social media, they keep having to set up multiple accounts. Why didn't you tell me you'd changed your name, said Denise. It would have been much easier. Hello, my beautiful, my dear. Hope you get my texts here, he said. And now you'll start to see that the person that she was talking to on Hangouts isn't the same person that she was talking to on Facebook. You never did tell me where you studied medicine, said Denise. OK, he said, I will. This man, apparently, had more brains than the one on Facebook. It only took him six minutes to find a real medical school in the US. California North State University School of Medicine, he said. Congratulations, said Denise. A real medical school this time. I'm impressed. Thanks, said our man, followed by, where are you now? And if the person that you're talking to online continually asks you random questions that don't seem to be related to the conversation, then there's a very high chance that you're talking to a scammer. I think they just have little lists of copy and paste questions and drop them in. I'm in prison, said Denise. OK, said her man. Where are you? she asked. Again, he said, thank you so much for your time you have spent with me. 
and I'm so happy to have you as my dear heart. I'm in work now. A few sentences of repetition later, and our man said, What do you think? Because you can't remain a widow forever. You need a man to love and respect you, a man to care for you, and spend the rest of your life with, as husband and wife, right? That's very deep and meaningful, darling, said Denise. But I only asked you what you're doing at work right now. Hospital, he said. I know you're in hospital, darling, she said. You're a doctor, but what are you doing right now? Are you seeing a patient? Yes, I know that, he said. But it depends on both of us now, cause we're in the same position and we need each other. True love matters a lot. A sentence you'll see again in the next video. So you are seeing a patient right now, said Denise. In full flow and ignoring Denise as usual, our man continued. And love, trust and honesty matters a lot. Oh yes, they do, said Denise. I'd love you to be honest and tell me what you're doing at work right now. But I guess you don't know what you're doing. Yes, that true, he said, to know each other. But the best way to know each other is when we're close to each other and when we're dedicated to each other too. OK. Of course, said Denise. I told you I'm in prison and I told you I need money because one of my clients is threatening me. Can you lend me some money? To which her man helpfully replied, OK, please can you send me your pick now? It's on my Facebook account, said Denise. Will you lend me some money? And then our doctor thought he'd call Denise. And pay attention to what you see on the screen. Hello, darling. Nick. Hello, darling. How are you doing? How are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Who's that video that you're showing me? What? I said, who's that on the video? Because they're not talking to me. I hope you can see that what the man in that video is saying and what the man that has called Denise is saying simply don't synchronise. And right now, I'm showing you a still from the end of that video. If you're in any doubt at all that he was playing a video, I think this shows that he was. Once the scammers played you one of these videos, they always seem to ask you the same question. Can you see me? No, darling, said Denise. I saw a video of a man talking, but it wasn't you, because his lips weren't saying what you were saying. OMG, he said. That's me. Why was there a replay button at the end of the video? Asked Denise. Not another man, he said. I think it's the bad network here that's making you thinking that it's another man. OK, said Denise. Next time you call me, just wave and say hello when I ask you. OK, I'll, he said. Maybe tomorrow I will call you on video again. OK? Yeah, maybe. We can't wait, mate. Denise asked him where he was. I'm in Pakistan country, he said. Where in Pakistan? said Denise. It's a large country. I'm in Sindh in Pakistan, he said. I've never heard of that, darling, said Denise. Is it a nice place? It's a very dangerous place, he said. Which part of Sindh are you in? she asked. People die there every day, he said. I think people die everywhere, darling, but you're the doctor. Why are people dying? What's happening there? I'm in Zybernissa Street in Sindh, he said. What's the street like? asked Denise, who'd hopped on Street View and had a look. Well, you can't actually see that street, but you can see the streets either side of it. It's a shopping centre. It's the centre of a city. OK, he said. Why are people dying? It's because of the bad guys here. Here in Pakistan is not a good place. Very dangerous place. Why many questions? I'm interested to know what you do and where you are said Denise. It's boring here in prison. Are you sure you're in prison? he asked. I think I'm sure, said Denise. Sometimes it's hard to know. OK, he said. Send me your pictures in prison. And if you've been paying attention to my previous videos, we can all say the answer together. If you give me your address, I'll post you some. Denise asked him if he would call her again and said that she wanted to see the real him. He asked why. She said, 
because that's what I want you to do. Wave at me and say hello. If I call you now, will you wave at me and say hello? Video call is not allowed here, he said. I just managed to call you video call for a few minutes ago. OMG, my life is in danger now. Video call is not allowed here. That's why. But maybe I will try call you on video call tomorrow, please. In a street full of shops in Karachi, she said. Just let me know when you're ready to call. I can't wait to see you. Yes, he said. It's a very dangerous place. I might be put into prison if they see me making video call. Who is they? asked Denise. And in a minute, me too. Trust me. I'm not lying, he said. I'm not joking with you. The dangerous guys and the UN also. Look in my room. They put a camera in my room. They use camera. Camera is watching over me. So please, I will try call you video call. Maybe tomorrow, please. Perhaps you should move to an apartment over a different shop said a rather unsympathetic Denise. Trust me, I'm telling you the truth, said her man. Oh, I'll trust you, darling, said Denise, lying through her teeth. I'll speak to you tomorrow. I have to go now. It's exercise time. The next day, her man asked, Can we talk now? Of course, said Denise. What do you want to tell me? Why are you in prison? he asked. It's complicated, darling, she said. The police didn't like the way my Albie and me ran our accountancy business. They accused me of fraud. What did you want to tell me? Promise that you're not going to get angry, he said. Why do you think I'll get angry? she asked. I think I have feelings for you, he said. Oh, I don't know what to say, said Denise. That's a surprise. I can't control myself, he said. I tried to hide the feelings that I have for you. But I can't hide from you. Please don't get angry. I'm in love with you. I love you from the very first time I saw you. You're so sweet and special. You complete my life. I can't do anything without you. I thank you every single moment. I love you so much. You're so sweet and special to me. You complete my life. Oh my, said Denise. I don't know what to say. Please. I'm so serious about this, he said. I'm not joking. I love you so much. You've taken me by surprise, said Denise. It would be so lovely to have a man in my life to come home to. I'll be out in six weeks. Can you come and visit me before then? Yeah, yeah, he said. I can come and visit you. I love you so much, honey. Can you please accept me as your love and husband? Of course I will, said Denise. It will make the paperwork for getting out of here so much easier if I can put you down as my fiancé. OMG, he said. Yes, thank you so much. I love you so much. When do you think you'll be able to come and visit me? Asked Denise. Thousands may come in your life and thousands may go, he replied. But there will be one person on earth who can give away life for you and that's me. I will take to the UN government about it. I pray they will allow me, he said. I'm sure they will, darling, said Denise. We're allowed visitors three times a week. Google was feeling unloved, as it sometimes does, so intervened twice and waxed lyrical. I won't bother reading it to you, but if you want to know what Google said, just pause the video. You haven't told me when you think you might be able to get leave to come and see me said Denise. If you ask me how many times you have crossed my mind, I would say once, because you never really left, he said. No, I didn't ask you that, darling, said Denise. I asked you when you think you'll be able to get leave and come and see me. This month, he said. I have to speak with the UN about my coming, OK? OK, said Denise. We're allowed visitors on Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, really? said our man. All together now, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, really, said Denise. Can you go out to get something? asked our man. No, of course I can't, said Denise. You can't just walk out of prison, you know. It doesn't work like that. I can ask my children to bring things for me if there's something I need. Oh, 
Okay, said our man, suddenly realising. I'll get back to you. Take good care of yourself. I love you forever. A few hours later, our man returned. I want to tell you something. What? said Denise. I'm going to Cap on Friday morning. And where I'm going, there is no free network there. Network is bad there, and I don't want to lose communication with you. I enjoy and love talking to you. I don't want to lose communication with you. OMG! Oh no, said Denise. That would be really sad. I do hope you can work out a way to stay in touch. Yes, he said. There is only one way. There is only one way we can communicate. I wonder what that might involve, ladies and gentlemen. What's that, darling? asked Denise. We can communicate through this gift card called Steam Card, he said, and they don't sell it here. Can you help me with the Steam Card so that we can communicate? They don't sell it here. Please help me with the Steam Card. OK. I think they sell those in the prison shop, said Denise. My cellmate uses them for her games. The shop is only open for one hour each morning. Oh, OK, he said. Can you help me get a $100 Steam Card, please? so that we can stay in touch with each other, please. Our man sent Denise a helpful photograph of a steam card. Look at it very well, my love, he said. Why do I need to look at it very well, she asked. Do they have a secret code on them that your cameras might see? Remember those cameras in his room that he's afraid of. After you buy it, turn them back and scratch the code out, OK, he said. After you buy it, turn them back and scratch it. I want you to know what I'm talking about. OK? I know what a steam card is, said Denise. I told you, my cellmate buys them for her games. OK, he said. Follow by. Have you eaten your dinner? I'm just getting ready to go to the canteen, she said. We'll get dinner at 6.30. I'm on clearing up duty tonight. I'll look in the shop for your card tomorrow. And so Denise disappeared. As you can see from this screenshot, the following day, our man was having trouble accepting that she'd just gone. I wonder how long he'll go on for. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in part two. Because yes, there's a part two. Because our man sent a friend request to Serafina.